just show you my latest. This is a Golden Book Encyclopedia journal. I've used um, part of this Golden Book Encyclopedia. I've cut it to the size I wanted it. And I've added some stuff on the outside. And this is a pen that I made to go with it from one of the pages that was inside. It has a little butterfly right there. And this, the theme of this journal is um, going to be, it has insects, birds, and flowers. Those in each of the three um, sections. Okay, so the outside is just this little snippet roll that I made and then washed and it made it nice and fuzzy, soft. Okay, and then it has these three laces on the outside. Here we go on the inside. Start with a frog. And it has these, um, three tabs in the middle of each uh, section. So here we go. Now this paper is real um, textile. It has these dents in it. And it's tea dyed. And wrinkly. There's a lot of journaling space. And whatever you want to do to it, you can Use it for paintings, probably. Maybe acrylic paint. You can try different things that you want to do. Drawing with markers. And see what works. Because there's lots of pages to try stuff on. Or you can just journal. You can take it to Bible studies, you can take it to church services, make notes from the sermons, you can write praises in it, prayer requests. This has two pockets, one here, one here, and it actually comes completely off and there's a writing space in the back. I'm going to leave it for now because I am one-handed. There are 20, 40, 60 pages in the whole book. Plus any extra you want to tack on to it. You can do that. You can do some junk journaling in it. Because I have a lot of pages that are empty and you can just add stuff. Pick up some of the more of these um, books and cut out pictures and glue them in, the ones you like. Lots of stuff that you can do. And this is the bird section, I believe. And owls and ostrich. Monkeys. So, not all birds. There's a couple of pages. Another type of owl. And some water. <laughs> Real earthy book. This section is like the clear section. There's nothing in it. So you can add your own stuff. Here, butterfly. So this is gonna be insects, I believe. Oh, and birds. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. A full blossom, I believe that was. And a quail, I think. Yep, quail. And it's also a tuck spot. Uh, skipping a lot of pages. <laughs> And then this is a tiny pocket. This is a pretty flower tag I added. And no, 
another tab with some seedlings and big old bucket here. I have a crafter in the background if you hear things. Very pretty bird. This is like a fold out. I think that's about it. Yep. Some really pretty designs from the tea dyeing came out. And it has this little thing there. Okay. It's all of this book. It is. Hold on, I'll get a measuring device. It is almost nine inches tall. My a little bit over six inches wide. And the spine is one inch and three signatures, 60 pages. That's all of this book and the pen that comes with it. Check us out on Facebook. A step back in time journals dot no not dot com. <laughs> Just a step back in time journal page. Journals page. And then, then there's a shop button and this is where it will be. In the shop. See you later. Bye bye.